General Yamashita, the Tiger of Manila, appears before a military commission in Japan to answer charges of brutal atrocities and other high crimes against our armed forces in the Philippines. In addition to his savage treatment of Allied soldiers, he was responsible for the butchery and rape of thousands of Philippine citizens by Japanese troops. These are Signal Corps pictures. Before the trial's court, headed by Major General R.B. Reynolds, the arch-criminal pleads, believe it or not, not guilty. Well, currently on History Traveler, we've been running a series in the Pacific Theater from World War II. Uh, the Pacific Theater saw some of the most horrendous and egregious war crimes of the Second World War. There were just some, some terrible and awful things that, that were done by the Japanese. Well, after the war, there was going to be a reckoning. Uh, different war crimes trials were, were held, and one of the men who stood uh, to be held accountable for his actions was a guy by the name of General Yamashita. Uh, this is a man who had been nicknamed uh, the Tiger of Malaya. I've also heard him referred to as the, the Butcher of Manila. And right here at the Gettysburg Museum of History, they have some artifacts that are tied to the trial and execution of General Yamashita. here is a pretty amazing grouping including a section of rope that actually hung General Yamashita. Um, he was one of the Japanese war criminals that was executed at the end of World War II. And uh, besides that section of rope we have some of the mug shots of the uh, accused Japanese war criminals here. Um, we have a whole bunch of these. We actually have the negatives for these. Um, I'm just showing a few of them. And, and there's a picture of an American soldier here from the fingerprint section. And this really interesting photograph here, this is um, the, the, the gate or, or the fence at the Las Banas prison. And they just set up a, a, a like a, a towel or something and put his plaque in front of it but it's kind of cool it shows how they were doing that and then these are the results and of course here's General Yamashita's actual mug shot right here pretty fascinating there's also some some really great photographs from the trial of him there's General Yamashita and here's some of the trial and it has some notes here now both and here's another picture from the trial um, the back of these also have really nice um, captions of what was going on and these are the negatives and a, a note about the negatives for, for the, the mug shots but the, the most fascinating piece to me is, is the section of rope. It's got a documentation here um, of its provenance and it, it, in the letter it says it's Manila Hemp Rope. and. Um, they, they had an order that no souvenirs would be taken from the hanging. Well, apparently that order wasn't completely obeyed. This is the only piece I've ever seen from Yamashita's or anybody else's execution um, in the Pacific Theater. Um, you know, there, there are some other stuff from the European Theater, but this is the only one I've ever seen. Now, there may be other ones out there, I'm not sure, um, but this is just a unique artifact and um, you know there was a tradition in, in the 19th century more than the 20th century or early, early 20th century also is taking souvenirs from famous executions. I, you know, we have some other uh, death ropes in, in, in our collection from some other famous events but you know they, they didn't want that to happen because you know uh, the, the, the execution of war criminals is a little controversial and so they just didn't want that to happen and, and um, I think it's funny that, you know, no matter how much they try to keep 
American soldiers from taking souvenirs during World War II. It happened anyway. Anyway, a fascinating collection and uh, very historic. So again, here is that mugshot of General Yamashita, and uh, I wanted to, to focus in on this picture here because there's something in it that is really interesting to me. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, you have Yamashita over here on our right, uh, sitting before this tribunal next to a Japanese admiral, and, and look who is sitting there before them at the tribunal. Down here it says General Wainwright. So this is General Jonathan Wainwright, who was the commander of the U.S. forces in the Philippines uh, at the beginning of the uh, U.S. involvement in World War II. He ended up being taken prisoner and was held for the duration of the war, uh, was awarded a Medal of Honor uh, for, for his actions in the war. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's very interesting that they have Wainwright here uh, to kind of testify on behalf of the POWs of the, uh, the Japanese. General Yamashita, the commission concludes, one, that a series of atrocities and other high crimes have been committed by members of the Japanese armed forces under your command against people of the United States, their allies and dependencies throughout the Philippine Islands, that they were not sporadic in nature, but in many cases were methodically supervised by Japanese officers and non-commissioned officers, that during the period in question you failed to provide effective control of your troops, as was required by the circumstances. Accordingly, upon secret written ballot, two-thirds or more of the members concurring. The commission finds you guilty as charged and sentences you to death by hanging. The accused members of the defense staff, and Japanese members of the defense staff will be escorted from the courtroom. Here is a, another photo of these, uh, these Japanese uh, war criminals uh, before these, these witnesses and before this, uh, this tribunal. And then here is the letter of provenance that uh, Eric was referring to. And it says here, um, it says, it was an officer on the detail of military police who hung General Yamashita at Los Banos uh, in the spring of 1945. If you've never heard of the Los Banos raid, uh, look that up because it is fascinating. It's a, a, a very compelling story about how the 11th Airborne uh, liberated um, this prison camp uh, in the Philippines. And I actually knew a guy whenever I was a kid uh, who was uh, at that that prison camp. But anyway, you can see um, it's <laughs> uh, from Charles Brown uh, is the man who uh, sourced this piece of rope that was used to hang General Yamashita. All right, well, those were just a, a few of the artifacts tied to the execution of General Yamashita. Uh, now, this, this execution had a long-lasting impact. As a matter of fact, there's something called the Yamashita Standard that was established after this case, which basically said that a, a military commander is responsible for the actions of those uh, in whom he is in command of. Uh, this has been upheld by the Supreme Court and by the Geneva Convention and, and numerous international trials since 1946. And you can see some of the artifacts of that legacy right here in Gettysburg at the Gettysburg Museum of History.